Hello everyone, I'm Gandare and Saria, and I did not count, but I believe we're 90, about 90 videos into this. Like, I feel like I'm only off by, like, a margin of two. Like, like I feel like this is pretty close to 90 videos, and we're just now going to High Hrothgar for the first time. <laughs> what? This is not how I think this was supposed to go, but... You know, hey, well, here we are. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this part of the game because, you know, I've watched, like, Let's Plays and stuff, and hey, you. The others do not speak. That is so. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. I just taste of your voice. Uh, what? Shout. Shout at us. Let us taste of your voice. Uh, how do I do that? Do I even have a shout? I didn't think I had any. Hold on. What? Do you just automatically get one from the first dragon? And I just did not notice that ever? Uh, let's try it. No? Do I have to have it equipped? Oh. Oh. Strike us with the power of your voice. Oh. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angi. This whole time we could have done that! Speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I... Well, I guess Master is politeness, but I wouldn't... Okay, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Well, uh, I want to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. With training, you have already taken the first steps towards so. projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn. <laughs> words of power. Actually, I just All shouts are made up of three words Although of I don't power. think it was the intellectual As you master kind. each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. What? Huh? Oh, he put a word on the ground. What? You put more words on the ground? You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Thank you, Einarth. Master your new form. 
Strike the targets as they... Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Targets. Yeet! Ah! Fools! No! No. Oh. All I have to do? Well done. Again. Yeet! Ah! Fools! No! Sorry, Sophia. You should probably not stand in front of that. Quickly. Once more. Sophia! You don't want to stand there. Use both words if you can. Oh, okay. I have to do both. To hold it. Yes. Did you want something? You never did tell me about your parents. Sure. I'm glad that's so. Your great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Hey, thanks for the, the thing in her I appreciate it. Those graybeards are a strange bunch. Imagine having to sit there in silence all the time. I just couldn't do it. I struggle staying quiet for even a minute. Also, what's the point in having all that power and not using it? I suppose those Greybeards must be getting on a bit, though. Hmm. Maybe you're right, Sophia. Everyone outside here to the courtyard? Okay. Let's go out to the courtyard with them, then. I just only okay. When we were in the room learning the shouts, that's when I just first had the realization of where a Fus Roda comes from. Because I didn't know that you learned all of it from these guys. Maybe you don't even learn it all from you these learn guys. a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Oh, dragon word! Get the dragon word. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Approach Master Bor, and he will give you his knowledge of wood. Thank you, Bori. Now we will see how quickly. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Now Whoa. It's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your Whirlwind Sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it. It just kind of happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Hold on. There... who is Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, the master of the voice or tongue. 
After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. What is the way of the voice exactly? The voice was a gift of the goddess Timerith at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But if I don't agree with that, then why help me? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Huh. There are only four of you, though? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Tell me about you guys. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Why don't the others talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Oh shit. Tell me more about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here. Oh, you already But that. in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to get Five. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Oh, here's a question. Why are shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Why the hell are the dragons coming back then? Like, are they coming here for me? Like, what's going on there? No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Hmm. Thank you. I'll keep working on it. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Hmm. There are other questions here, but the character, Saria, she doesn't care about those things. Sky above, voice mm. within. Unrelenting force shout, tallest mountain in Skyrim. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> we should fetch our good friend Lydia and show her the few. And at the same time, you could show her your new shout. If she accidentally falls, then I suppose it's no big loss. <laughs> what? Don't give me that look. 
Sophia! How could you say that? What? Oh my god! Sophia! Look! I mean, Lydia's. Oh my god! Sophia! Holy owl shit! I can't handle what she just said. We're okay. Okay, Sophia, we're not gonna know. Lydia's never done anything bad. Grant, I never really wanted her around in the first place, but she's been good to us. We're not gonna throw Lydia off the cliff. I don't know why you would even suggest that. As funny as it would be to see her flying down a mountain at the maximum possible speed, we're not going to do that. Oh my god, Sophia, you're fucking adorable. I just want to hug you until you explode sometimes. Where am I supposed to go for- oh, I go back inside for this, okay. I guess I should change my shout then? I don't want the dash. Oh, oh gosh, we have souls now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Give me this. What? Oh, I hit R. Yes. Oh, please give me a little fairy. I want that one also. Fuck fire, fuck frost. Interesting. I want this one. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh my god, please give me this. I want it. Oh, I want this so bad. Oh, it's not even finished yet. I only have Sue. And it's Sue Gradun. I need the other two words. Oh my god, I need the other two words. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna use a different one until then. I'm gonna use a different one until I get all three words. Oh my god, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait, but I just, I can't do it yet. I need, I need, oh, I need all the free words, or it's just not going to be what I want. Sue, Gradoon. Sue, Gradoon. Oh, man. I just, oh, I want the other two so bad. Please. Okay, hold on. Ice form instead. Eek! I'm sure that will come in handy. Now, where are we supposed to go exactly? What? Minimap. Minimap, tell us something. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to go all the way out here? Okay. Wait, no. What? We've not discovered that place yet? Okay, so we're gonna go to the uh, abandoned shack. And then we're gonna travel up from there. Oh, please. I need those other two words. I need them. Just. Oh my god. I want them. I want them so much. I want them so much, I might just like catch on fire and die. So you need to find the horn of Jorgen Windcaller? <laughs> yes, I had heard he was a little horny. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Even for me. <laughs> At least you admit that it was a bad joke, Sophia. Oh my god. Sophia, I just... I want to hug Sophia until she explodes. I just, I just want to do that. So she like pops like a balloon. She's fucking adorable. I mean, we haven't heard any new lines from her because we haven't been doing, you know, story quests and things like that. 
So we've been hearing some repeats and things like that, but oh my gosh. frozen in a block of ice and just stood there. That's funny as hell. The whole line of them just got frozen and fell over. That's delightful. Oh my gosh. Look, I went from being, like, I went from going, this game is good, to, oh my god, this game is fantastic. I love it. Oh, this is so fucking awesome. I can't stop smiling. I feel like I'm on marijuana. I don't even smoke pot yet. I say yet because you better believe that if that shit's legal, I'm gonna go smoke out just to see what the hell it's like. Because, uh, I am not morally opposed to the marijuana. But, you know, laws and things. Right? So... When that shit is legal for recreational use, I'm calling up my friend Homer and be like, Yo, Homer, it's legal, bro. You know what we're going to do. And I'm going to have a new life experience when that happens. I say when, because it's going to happen, because it's, it's going to happen someday. Oh my god, cabbage. Oh my god, I got cabbage. I got cabbage, and I got some skooma, and I got, oh my god, I got drugs. I got cabbage. I got, like, dragon shouts. This is like the best video I've done so far. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, there's a shuffle. Mm, sacks. Look at those sacks. Look at that salty sack. Ustendov. Uh. Yes. VR Gall Hair. Alright, we're gonna continue this in the next video. Because, uh, no, fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it here. We're just gonna go here. It's like, I'm at two gigs. I feel like we have enough. Oh shit, there's so many people there. Oh my god. Got him. Did you see that? He didn't see that. So all of a sudden his life was over. He didn't know what happened. Okay, once upon a time, I, maybe I used bows enough to justify having those true shot potions. I don't regret selling the ones that I sold and not looting the ones that I could have looted, but I mean, I just, <sighs> they didn't die. Sophia? Sophia, why do you do this to me? Oh, I'm hidden now. Okay. It's the, it's the sneak archery singularity. Everything ends up at sneak archery. Eventually. Want ores because I don't want to smelt things. Are you a person? No, that's a dead body or something. But yeah, I don't regret not looting those true shot potions because I mean I wouldn't have used them back then anyway, and even if I had them now, like it would have just been taking up inventory space for a long time for no reason, just like all those ingredients that I didn't keep. Continue. Uh, where are my bad arrows? Where are my bad arrows? Steel arrows. I need to buy some more rear, rear arrows at some point, like dwarven or higher. 
Oh, this conjurer. Sophia, could you just calm down for like 10 seconds? Oh, it's Barnacle. Oh, I ate one of those already. Careful! You wouldn't yeah. have to hurt my face. Um. That's actually a lot of, uh. You know, actually, let's let a demon go attack on this. Maybe that means you actually have a brain. Just because I feel like being lazy and drinking some more of this Midori that I have. Oh no, Sophia's been like knocked out. I'm not okay with this. Sophia? Sophia. You knock so life is in danger. Sophia, are you okay? I was legitimately worried about you for a second, Sophia. Hopefully I don't get this concerned about video game characters, but I was legitimately worried about you. I have some weird attachment, okay? I'm I'm really glad I did not beg. Okay, right? Okay. Let's continue. Even though we only have a couple arrows left. Potions of health, ew. Healing, excuse me. I like healing potions, and health potions I think are just fraudulent. Ooh, a chest. Just a bare chest. No protection on it at all. Usually there's a lock or something, but that one was just completely unprotected. That's a little awkward. Do Sophia preferably need to be quiet? Look at all these urns. Skirmishers drop. That's a new potion. Isn't it? Well, it increases light armor skill. I don't want it. I'll just leave it there. Guess it would be good for people to use light armor though. No hate. Ooh, there's some bodies to loot. Restless Draugr. I have not eaten a hist carp yet. Wait, this is where I came in from, huh? Oopsies! I'm dumb. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm Gandare and Saria. I'm doing this. Okay, look. So here's what I've been making to drink. Uh, if you guys are uh, 21 or older in the United States, or if you're like 18 and older and based most of Europe. Um, stores, sometimes you can buy a pre-mixed Midori Sour. If it's a melon, Midori is a melon flavored liquor. Midori Sour is when you take that and you throw it in like a lemon lime and sugar juice. But there's a pre-mixed version of Midori Sours that you can buy. It's actually made by Midori themselves. That is, uh, you can sometimes find in stores and liquor stores and things like that. And I think it's quite good, so... I... Whoa, look at all this money. Well, I buy that, but it's not quite strong enough for my taste. So what I do is... I then...
pour a shot of Midori into a glass of the Midori Sour Premix that I have. So the premixed Midori Sour, pour that in a glass, throw in a couple ice cubes, and then throw in a shot of Midori on top of that. Tastes delicious. It is not super duper strong, but it tastes great. Sophia, you walked in front of me. This shit is literally all your fault. Oh no, you're not gonna make it through that fight because it's on the wrong side of the thing. Ori chalcoming it. I'll take it. Throw that in my bank at home. You what? You're oh. undead! You're oh. laying on me! Fear the living! I'm surprised if he's up as many arrows as I did. I guess that's good. It means I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, so that, that is one of my drinks that I really enjoy. You take the pre-mixed Midori Sour that's made by Midori. You throw a shot of Midori into that glass. A couple ice cubes and a straw. It's delicious. Anyone that's like, oh man, that's fucking, that's a pussy drink. That's like a girl drink. No, tell them to shut up and tell them that melon is delicious. If anyone tries to call you a pussy for drinking a drink that is sweet and flavorful, tell them to fuck off. Because you know what? I am a, I'm a big fan of fucking... Give me some Johnny Walker Black Label. Give me a straight shot. No ice. No water. Like, maybe... Okay, maybe one ice cube in it. But usually just give me a straight Johnny Walker Black Label. Let me drink that. And I'll sip on that for a little while and it tastes phenomenal. I like straight whiskeys. But I also like my melon liquors. So, shut up. I've fallen out of love with vodkas a bit, admittedly. We'll continue this in the next video, folks. Thank you.